today, he's not using his Jack'em Shack'em tool. He is using a spray can and rubbing it down as he leaves it up. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're doing a lot of spring cleaning and preventative maintenance here. And today is slide out day. We're using our three in one products, our slide out silicone lube, as well as our rubber seal conditioner. The rubber seal conditioner uh, reduces friction. It's water resistant. It helps prevent uh, any fading or cracking on your rubber slide out seals, as well as um, it extends the seal life. Also, the slide out lube it has also lubricates and it's waterproof, um, it's anti-corrosive, and also extends the slide out mechanisms on your slides. We have cable driven slides, so I just spray a little bit on the cables, wipe them down, and then the tracks underneath, I give them a squirt. So, but I noticed something today, or actually two days ago, on our slide out seals. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is our bunkhouse slide. You can tell the slide seal is nice and taut against the slide here. On our living room slide, we've got a problem. Yeah, this was actually just barely cracked at the top up there. And I, while I was conditioning it, I noticed the little crack and I said, hmm, let's separate in there. And I just pulled a little bit. Well, it came a lot. So. I actually reached out to Heartland and ordered some new seals for our slides because these are look like they're going to be pretty easy. They're on a little track and you just slide them in and out. So I'm going to try to replace them today and I thought I'd bring you all along. This is actually the second set of wiper seals that we've put on all our slides. We've had the rig four years and we did it two years ago. Apparently our model which is a North Trail 33BKSS. The wiper seals are notorious for, for cracking. And I condition them pretty regularly. But I'm going to go ahead and replace all the wiper seals on all three slides. So we'll see how easy it is. So as you can see, our seals are on these little tracks here. And it's stuck. We can just pull this one's already cracked at the bottom as you can see and it just slides down don't just pull on the big part of the wiper seal make sure you pull on what's in the track it just slides right down coming out pretty simple Although the seals are found in the big box store in the sky, we ordered our replacements from Heartland directly from the manufacturer. I ordered 50 foot because each slide takes about 6 foot 3 inches, 6 foot 4. So I ordered enough to have a little extra on hand. Our wiper seals are an inch and a half wide. There's an end piece. I don't know if you can 
can see it. This piece part right here slides up into the track. So get this untangled and we'll go start replacing what we've pulled out. At the base of the slide out where the you insert the seal, the track was pinched. I've opened it up to, to take it out and put the new one in. But once you get the new one in, you just pinch this back, it holds the seal in place. Slides in with no problem. Although having an assistant is not required, it does make the job easier, or at least helps pass the time with some conversation while they look up resources on, I don't know, Candy Crush? When you get to the end of the track, it just rests up under this seal here, right there. And then it's just a matter of cutting it to fit. <clears throat> And closing the track. Love this ladder. After installing all the seals, we treated them with a 3-in-1 rubber seal conditioner. It's easy to apply. Just spray on and wipe off the excess. The slide-out lubricant we use on our cables as well as our uh, slide track. So I just give it a quick spray and wipe down the excess. Pretty easy to use. You can either use full spray or you can streamline it. Simple to use. So since we have the cable driven slides, we don't have any gears on the outside, but I do give the track where the slide goes in a little lubricant and a wipe down. So we got all the wiper seals replaced and boy, it turned out to be a pretty easy job. I, we wish we'd have done this two years ago when we replaced all the seals before, but paid a local RV service center to do it. We could have saved at least three or 400 bucks, I know. We hope this video was helpful. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the notification bell, get updates when we post our latest video. As always, we wish you safe travels and an awesome view. If you don't see us on the road, you'll see us in the next video. Uh, that's not all, folks. Like I said, I wish I would have done this two years ago when I had them replaced by a Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I thought I'd share a quick. You got something to say? Nope. Wish I'd have known this two years ago. I'd have done it myself then. Still going? Still pulling?